when it rains it pours and when it pours it floods but that actually really depends on where it is in toronto you are flooding in toronto and the damage it can cause is by all means not a new phenomenon but with factors like rising temperatures that can give way to increased moisture in the air, thanks climate change, you may have noticed rainstorms feeling more intense and have probably seen some parts of the city flooding while others remain largely unaffected. This is likely a result of surface flooding or pluvial flooding, which happens when there is so much rain that the sewers and drainage system can no longer handle it that it starts to overflow. And since drainage capacity can differ throughout the city, with much of the sewer infrastructure being extremely old and fewer green spaces to help absorb excess water, some areas may flood while others do not. Now, this is different from fluvial flooding, which is when bodies of water, like rivers, lakes, or streams, overflow onto the surrounding land. And while flooding can happen any time of the year, whether it be from melting snow or groundwater flooding, the thunderstorms that come with summer can cause significant damage, particularly in the event of a 100-year storm, where an excess amount of water is dumped in a location over a short period of time. And in August 2018, the effects of the rain were so bad that two people came close to drowning when they got trapped in a flooding elevator for 40 minutes. We reached the parking level and heard a loud splash as the elevator hit the water. Water started pouring in immediately. I yell at the speaker, the water's still rising. We're on the basement level and we're afraid we might drown. The water was at neck level while we were uh, standing on the railing. Uh, if you could imagine with our with our necks kind of like twisted at the top of the elevator uh, hitting the roof because that's how much uh, room we had left to breathe. We eventually heard some splashing on the outside of the door and the muffled voice of somebody saying, we're the police and we're here to help. Now, just because they're called 100 year storms does not mean they happen once a century, but rather these extreme rainfall events have a 1% chance of happening in a given year. And parts of Toronto have seen this happen three times within a 15 year period. Now, knowing if you're in a high risk flood area has not always been easy, as official flood maps didn't show areas prone to surface flooding. But the star helped create a map that details which parts of the city may be a flood risk, something that has been largely remained hidden from the public. 